Is something that uh, sprout yeah empty sprout empty so how do you sprout empty yeah sprout so, is also empty yeah. is also the name of the dry grain no empty it is the brown mung mung dal 
moon beans, okay. basically. And Brown, okay, and then once you sprout it? Uh, you sprout it, but you have to sprout it. Uh, it takes two days for uh, this kind of result. So you start out with these guys, the dry yeah. ones? Yeah, you start with dry ones and you, uh, you start it by uh, washing them in running water and then soak them uh, till they are covered overnight. In, in a container like in this? In a container like this, you don't need any special container. This is a simple, basic, humble steel container. Mm -hmm. And the next day, you, you wash them under running water, remove the water which is there uh, from overnight water, and then uh, just leave it moist. Just leave it moist. You don't have to add anything to it near the radiator. So they can't rotten or anything? No, no. Okay. They don't. And once they start sprouting? Yeah. Once it starts sprouting a little like here, then they are ready to cook. They're ready to cook. But that but not to eat in a salad, right? You can. It's very versatile. You can uh, sprout it uh, three days so that if you see the sprouts here are not that, uh, you know, they're not, they are, they are, you need more for salads. So maybe a day more, then okay. they'll be sprout. Okay, okay. And can you do this with this sprouting with most uh, pulses? Yeah, you can do it with most pulses. Really? With most yeah. pulses, yes. okay. And these are, if you... Yeah. Are they, are they, no, these are a different one, right? This is the same one. This is the brown moog and this is the green moog. And this is found everywhere, anywhere in, in Denmark. I've been in here in Denmark for three and a half years and I find everything what I need in... What kind of shop? Well, in the regular shops, uh, okay. like in Nimlik, especially, okay. if you are order, ordering <laughs> online, you can have a list of okay. pulses, spices, whatever I've used here, you can have it. Okay. But this is, uh, these spices are, uh, you know, I have dry grande, uh, roasted them and then grinded uh, in a mixie. You have done that? Yeah, yeah. Which is very, very, it's kind of, you, you get, they get double as good if you dry roast your spices. It and does, it does, because it, it takes it, it ups the level of your uh, dish. That's okay. what I feel. So. so what kind of spices do you have? So I have uh, turmeric, of course that's as it is, uh, red chili powder, uh, this is coriander powder, uh, cumin powder, uh, I have garam masala. Again, I got all my whole spices and dry roasted it and, and dry grinded it in a grinder. This is tamarind. With the small seeds in there? Or? Yes, there are small seeds in there. And it, it provides the tanginess. So, umpty means uh, sweet and sour, tangy, tangy curry. Mm -hmm. uh, salt as a futida and uh, yeah. Okay, so what, what can I do to get the dish going? So I would need uh, two onions, small, uh, finely diced. Two onions, fine. Okay, yeah. I just need a knife. I yeah. guess I can, I can find a knife. Yeah. I can, I've already found it. And I would. Do you need anything over here? Yeah. I would need uh, a knife too, so that I, I, can, yeah. <laughs> I can get. Yeah. Will this do for you? Yeah, that's that's super. You wanna do? You wanna do the left? Yes. I do the right. Yes, please. So what I read about the uh, Indian food culture, uh, yes. uh, that um, India, of course you also have a, a, a pretty big population, but still you seem to be consuming 25% of um, all the pulses that are being consumed in the entire world, right. or actually 27, yeah. and you produce 25% of all the pulses in the world. Right. So how come that pulses have become such an important um, uh, component of the Indian diet? You know, India, as you know, 50 to 60 percent of population, Indian population, are vegetarians. So the pulses are staple food in daily household, irrespective of which region you come from, which state you come from, and what, uh, whatever uh, class you are from, you know, whether you are you're working, uh, it's, it's a staple diet. A dal is made or pulses or legumes are made every day for lunch, for dinner and for uh, also because they are versatile, they can be used in many forms. So you say that da a dal uh, and, and I guess you, all of you know a dal, this kind of, for me it is somewhere in between a soup and a porridge and, and it is made in, in what one out of two households in India every single day? I think uh, most, yeah, most of the households <laughs> make dal. 
every day. And you know, before the Danish agricultural revolution yeah. back in the 1850s, right. uh, it was exactly the same in Denmark. Really? So we have, we have something called uh, Gule Ära, okay. uh, which in English would be yellow peas, okay. uh, which was basically a, a, a kind of a soup uh, made from this very particular type of pea, okay. uh, only without all the beautiful spices, because Denmark has been afraid of spices, Spice. you know, since, uh, yeah. since Luther. <laughs> the idea of spicing up the food has been associated with uh, incest and uh, abuse of alcohol and right. all kinds of horrible things. People have been afraid of spices here. Right. So, you know, now if you see, I have put uh, two inches of ginger in this. Uh, two inches of ginger, a little bit of chili. Now, it, it depends on your personal preference, how hot or hotter you want, you know. But I think it's good to give it a kick. And I have some coriander. Coriander is my favorite herb because it sort of uh, brightens up. Uh, it's good for garnish, and it's great I love in, coriander. And it's great in uh, fresh paste, which I'm making. Now, what I'm adding is a little bit piece of onion because it gives body to the paste. So, yeah. I, I, are you growing some? Are you doing some guerrilla gardening at the embassy? Uh, no, we. I have some. Uh, I have some cherry trees. But you have a grass lane, no? Yeah. You never thought about digging out some of the grass and, and growing some coriander? Yeah, I have. I have uh, coriander. Really? Yeah, I have coriander, rosemary. Then I have... Uh, uh, well, I'm trying to do... We have cherry trees, apple trees, but coriander I have. I have a small herb uh, garden in my kitchen, in pots, of course. So, so how long time have you been in, in, uh, in Denmark with your husband? For three and a half years now. Three and a half years? Yes, already. And, uh, and what do you hate most? Oh, I don't hate anything. <laughs> I, I, uh, what do you miss? Miss, well, you know what I believe firmly? You, you should be where you are and you should be, uh, you know, you should see the pluses of where you are. So, you know, of course you miss my parents, I would miss. Of course. You know, uh, but then other than that, I, it has been a great experience uh, uh, being in Denmark. What, what has been the biggest experience from your three and a half years here? What have you truly enjoyed about Danes or Denmark or, or kind of nature? What, what has been a source of joy for you now here yes. to compensate for the longing for your family and India and all the spices? Uh, well, uh, you know, as you know, we entertain a lot at home. So, you know, I, uh, one thing which I really uh, liked about uh, Denmark is that I found everything, though I got few things with me along uh, from India, I found everything which I needed here in the shops around. Uh, also, there are some uh, Indian shops which uh, keep, and how are Danish men compared to Indian men? Are they as polite? Are they gentlemen? Or <laughs> are they more rubbish? Or how, how do you, what do you think um, about Danish men? Well, I think comparison is not fair because uh, <laughs> I would rather say uh, I had great, I had good experience with Danish people and uh, they're polite and they're friendly and you know, I never had any problems uh, mingling around or Knowing my way, I don't speak Danish, but most of the Danes speak very good English. Yeah, so, yeah, so do you. So what, do, do I do anything with the onions here or do I, do I, I have two onions now for you? Yeah. How do you get the lid off? Is there some mag magical yeah, trick? Yeah, yeah. There's a trick, there's a trick to it. One minute. Ah, I think yeah, I yeah, got the it. Other way, yes. The trick is patience. Yes. Ah. Yes. Was this a trap? Sorry? Was it a kind of a trap? No. <laughs> it was an IQ test. <laughs> okay, so I not have got the paste ready now. I've for one cup of uh, uh, beans. I have, as you see, they have expanded. They expand due to uh, sprouting. I think we got a, we got a question. Yeah. yeah. It's from Hilla. She's really thrilled about Indian cooking and thinks that 
think is really nice with some inspiration, but she didn't hear. So Hen is very fond of yeah. Indian cooking, and she, for those of you who couldn't hear Nana, uh, and she loves the spices, but something she didn't hear. But she want to know what kind of dishes you guys are making today. Okay. So, okay, you can say. So uh, I'm going to make uh, Moong Dal Amti. That is from the region where I come from, Maharashtra. And it is very close to my heart because it uh, reminds me of my mother. She used to make this a lot. So that. And the second one is a chana dal paisan. That is, the, that is from south of India. Again, that's close to my heart because I had a friend from south and I, would, I had occasions uh, where I would go to her place and her mother would make this. So, yeah, so this is two things which are close to my heart. I wanted to share it with you all along with Klaus and thought I would share my happiness and well-being while I have this with you all. And for those of you who arrived late, so I'm Klaus Meyer and this is my guest of today, uh, Pretty Gupti, who is uh, a beautiful Indian lady who is the wife of the Indian ambassador to Denmark. We are cooking Indian food today. You need a spoon, right? Yeah. I want. Hot enough? This is a very, it's a kind of a historical monument that we found in the basement that uh, fits with your very particular cooking equipment. Yeah. What, 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 what is this? <laughs> so I have to tell you, introduce, this is my pressure cooker. So the hero of uh, sprouts or beans right now or pulses that you need a very good pressure cooker. And you know, my pressure cooker, as you see, is well-worn and it served me for a long time, traveled with me all over. Uh, it's, it's not as, you know, as shiny as the one here, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm not ready to part with it. So, <laughs> so this, is, this is the modern version of your, of your, when is this from the, from the 17th century or when is it from? <laughs> no, it's, it's not from 17th, it's few years old. It's like uh, almost 15, more than 15 years old. But I refuse to uh, change it for a shiny new modern version because it has served me well and, and I am very happy with it. It has supported me. I think I need a more heat. I'm not, I'm not even sure you can do I think this is, but that's not, absolutely not your fault. This is kind of, it's the best um, yeah. source of electricity that we have, I think. Okay. The little skull thing here is doing its best. So I guess we're going to do it. slow cooking. Slow cooking. <laughs> slow cooking with pressure. Or slow cooking under pressure. Under pressure. Do I do I have the rest of the onions? No, no. I think I was Is just okay? seeing. Yeah, that's because one onion was bigger. So maybe this yeah. I would just see. So now uh, I've, I've take... added onions. We need to have uh, wait till they become translucent. So. You have traveled to India, I believe, and uh, yeah. been to many places. So I've been to, uh, to I think, Kerala, is it called? Oh, right? yes. The South southern, of India. Yeah, and yeah. eat the dosas and uh, with oh, ra yeah. fermented rice kind of bread. Right. And I um, also was in Delhi, and uh, I had, I must say, I had an incredible time in the old Delhi. Oh, okay. Uh, Chandni Chowk? Yeah. Did you go to Chandni Chowk? Okay. And we tasted very, very particular food made from... You know, gentlemen who had been, who, I think he, the one, we had, we had a, a certain variety of dal in the morning right. from a gentleman setting up uh, the smallest kitchen in the world in a little street. Right. He came there every morning apparently and he had been cooking that very particular dish in that very place for 38 years with his oh. father. Okay. It was a very, very beautiful moment and the flavor was incredible. Uh, and then we went, you know, some fried bread and... Uh, yeah, this is that I yeah. don't even know the names of, uh, and and um, unlike what some p people told us, uh, we, we never had any problems with the stomach. So okay, okay, that's no, no, great. Deli, no deli belly. 
Yeah, as you as you're mentioning, you had dosas. So again, yeah. dosas have uh, urad dal, so they are fermented and used to make this. Uh, like I think most of people uh, around uh, here would have had dosa. People... Uh, so maybe you explain. So it's yeah? like a maybe you explain better than yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. You know, dosa is basically uh, you soak rice and urad dal overnight, and then the next day you grind it separately and then put it together and then ferment it for a day uh, and then uh, that is it you can add uh, some uh, salt later and then that's like closer to your crepe but it's 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 easy once you make the batter it can it's very versatile again you can make uh, dosa with it uttappam with it idlis with it so as you see all around India, we have this powerhouse of uh, legumes and pulses which are used in our day-to-day -day, uh, cuisine. So, yeah, I think. Slowly coming, right? Yeah. This is a little slow, but I think once it starts heating. Do you need me to do something about the ginger? or? Yeah, I already used it. Okay. Oh, you mixed it that yeah, one. Yeah, Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So now I have these uh, spices. Yeah. I I'm going to give it like a minute. I have my measuring. And yeah. I can maybe open. You, you, this is coconut milk. You need coconut milk in it. Yeah, but later. later Towards yeah. the end. Yeah. yeah. So I have this uh, one teaspoon uh, of uh, you know I got the measure so it's easy for people to understand. So two. One. Now this I'm not going to add because it is uh, spicy. So according to your taste and your personal preference, how much do you think? This you is chili. Yeah. I would do like a third or half of these of that spoon there. Yeah. 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 I love spice. Yeah. <laughs> it's good too, and we can adjust it later as we uh, ground coriander powder. One. Cumin powder. Mm. Smells very good. Yeah. So now we just. So what what liquid goes down there other than the coconut milk? Also water or? No, coconut milk is just a uh, half a teaspoon, just to give oh, okay. it that yeah, roundness. Yeah, roundness. Otherwise, water. I'm not going to. So you also do like fried food with the legumes? You do like yes. you so do pakoras, right? Yeah, pakoras. So as I, they're versatile. You know, legumes are pulses are vers versatile. You can you can make it, serve it as breakfast, as lunch, as dinner, as snacks. So. And snacks can be like pakoras, if you have heard. Pakora, if you haven't tried that, I mean, it's just kind of uh, different vegetables and then mixed with a little bit of water and then chickpea flour. Or and some which other. we get it everywhere here. Chickpea flour is freely available. So it's like, again, a very easy and express. Uh, That's actually one of my favorite snacks. Pakoras with uh, this kind of a yogurt based um, Cold sauce to go with it, a lapne style yeah. dressing with the with the pakoras. Uh, Have you tried making pakoras here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I make yeah? it very often yeah? with uh, with a lapne where I do the a, a, like a drained yogurt with um, lemon yeah. juice, uh, cumin, garlic, uh, and uh, a little bit of chili and salt, of course, and then right. I. To dip this hot so, uh, pakora in. Now this is uh, what I have. What I'm going to do is quickly just uh, rinse it under the water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I keep an eye on, 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 yeah, on the pot. Yeah. In the meanwhile, I'm not. I don't trust it totally, but I will. I'll stay around. I'm adding uh, You need it all down there or? Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll just see because you know it depends. Uh, you want a spoon? No, I, I was. I will add this also. No. So what is that? That's a uh, little bit of chili, ginger, and onions, and coriander, of course, to give it. Okay. Do we have the recipe in writing? Yes, we have it. And the Jonas is the recipe out on the on the on the internet on the web page. Yes. Okay, so if, if you miss something, then just uh, check out the web page. Mmm, wow, I can smell the, the cilantro, yeah. the coriander, I can yeah. smell the ginger now. As you see, we, I'm using all, these are all very, uh, this is very, uh, you know, homey and it's very earthy. It's, it's very basic elements. There are not too many things that I'm using in it. So, now... I'm going to see mm -hmm. because you know we, you have to be careful when you add your sprouts because it shouldn't be that they're too much and your uh, so what are you looking for there I'm looking for it to uh, cover the can the, you put it down there again maybe because I think we <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> we, we need every second yes, of heat yes yes and just yeah it's okay yeah so you, you look like it has to be like equal amounts of uh, equal amounts also it's equally coated so that you know it's coated uh, what I did just now the spices and uh, the paste the red uh, the wet paste which I put I'm using that so that it's well coated and then what about the tamarind yeah now what I'm this is a uh, wet tamarind. You get dry tamarind. What I have done, uh, used walnut size tamarind and boiled it in uh, some water. And this is what I got. Now I'm not going to take the body. I just need the liquid. So. So what's the trick there? What is the trick? To, to get to get the seeds away. Yeah, this is seedless. Okay, okay. You get okay. seedless uh, ah, tamarind. Got you got don't you. Okay. get you know. I got it. Yeah. So you don't have. And seedless is as good as the one with the seeds? Yeah, it okay. is, it is. Only the water, okay. Only the water. And what do you do with the rest? Uh, the rest you in keep it. In a cocktail it, with vodka or? You can use it, you can just, uh, you know, store it in the fridge. And you can it use it with, with drinks? Yeah, with you beverages? You can, you yeah. can, you can make it, you know, uh, this can be used uh, for other uh, dals also. Mm -hmm. Because we, we use it for other dals. Now what? A chutney. Mm. Chutney, yes, you mm, can I make love it. onion and tamarind, uh, onion and, and tamarind chutney, tamarind right? Tamarind chutney, mm. and I would need a little bit of. So that is sh that is your sugar. That's my sugar. Umti means tangy, so it has the you know the tanginess of this, and it's sweet and sour. So yeah. So that's your sugar. So wh 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 where does that come from? It come from sugar. That's uh, cane sugar. That's from sugarcane. Yeah. The sugarcane is grown all over India, and uh, this is called jaggery. So. Can I try a little bit? Yes, please. And you find this, uh, you know, in Indian desserts. The dessert which I'm making has wow. jaggery, and it has a very so flavorful. Yes, very flavorful. Acidity, caramel. Yes. yes. And something else, licorice. So a little bit, yeah. Mmm. And you do you do those you do use that in in savory food also. Uh, yeah. yeah, but not that much. All in, in India, where I come from, we do add a little bit in like how I used just now to, to just do, to, do what to is balance. The, what is the effect? It just uh, sharpens and uh, takes the dish to up to the level. Like salt, but in a different way. In a different way. So. Now I'm going to add a little bit of garam masala. Now this is up to you whether you want garam masala or not. What is in garam masala actually? Garam masala. Gar garam masala. Garam G -A -R -A -M is hot. G-A-R-A-M. Garam masala. S-A-L-A. So garam masala is uh, like this. The one which I made is with uh, cloves, cinnamon, 
uh, uh, baby canal uh, yeah so you know and people change it and make it according to their taste so this is my the my variation of garam masala of course you can get garam masalas that are available i'm not adding salt here because uh, well it will uh, it will slow the process of uh, yeah so now i think i can add a little more without the water you don't want the water down yeah, there yeah yeah And it has to be thick like this, or no? I'm going to pour some water in this, okay? And then I'm going to let it sit for some time. Yeah. And we'll wait for it to cook. So the whistles should be between four to five. Now again, it depends on where you're cooking. Uh, you know how good your uh, gas hob is. So now I'm not sure how much will this one take. So maybe a little longer than I expected, but we'll see. Can the I glass have... there, maybe the glass. You want the glass there? No, that's my drinking water. Okay. I will. Need I can find you. I can. Yeah. Remember, Bridget, I'm your apprentice. You can just ask me for things. Oh, oh I keep forgetting. Thank yeah, you for yeah, reminding I'm also, me. <laughs> I'm, I'm... So I'm adding water now. I'm just adding it enough so that it. It soaks, you know, it covers the uh, beans, the sprouts. Yeah. I don't want to make it. Yeah, that's that's enough. And then we put the lid on, right? Then we put the lid on. Yeah. Good. Good. So. So we leave it for like what? 10-15 minutes? Uh, no, uh, the whistles will tell us. So we, I would wait for five whistles. Ah. Yeah. Five, five whistles. Five. <laughs> yes. So it will take ten. Yeah. Well, what is it telling us when it starts whistling? That it's cooking and it's, uh, you know. That's but how do you know that five whistles will be mean that the things are good? No, it depends. See, again, it depends on, uh, you know, with sprouts or with beans. It is uh, very important that uh, what cooker you're using. So this is my cooker. If you use something which is uh, which is different or modern, what if what if I cook in a in a very normal pot without any pressure, anything? Yeah, it will take a very long time. Like two days? No, no. <laughs> that's too long. <laughs> but I think uh, a couple of hours. Okay, a couple but, of hours, really? Yeah, uh, Even though they're sprouted? Yes, yes. Because and, and they would not cook as uh, as uh, well as they cook in in pressure uh, cooker vessel what does that mean not cook as well i mean lentils are better if you cook it in pressurized vessel okay shorter they, time shorter time because they express you know why do people you know it is what i say I feel is that lentils are very or pulses legumes are good when they are pressure cooked okay. because they save less time so you can you can let it cook and then you can do other things also. Okay, and the sound from this uh, very special piece of equipment will yeah. tell us when things are good, so we can come back. Yes, it he will. I mean, of course, it's not electronic, but we will he will tell. Okay. Is it heating enough? I think. Because <laughs> you know, my I think it's it's, got, it's coming. I think. Yeah? I, I wonder whether it'll be finished tonight or. In a little while or something. Because I'm, I'm just, you know, uh, used to my uh, gas uh, knob and uh, stove. This is yeah. something really new to me. And so uh, the temperature, the, mom, the the duration of time also depends on what uh, what are you cooking it on. Okay, so, yeah. While waiting for the cooking of this one, should we maybe talk yes. a little bit about your the dessert that you have brought? Yes. So, now I've got... So maybe I'll clear this a little bit. So we actually have a comment from someone about yeah. a question, but it's just a comment from 
one of our viewers who says that it is so lovely to see the humble mud beans being showcased in a show. So thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you. They are actually the star. Not only are they showcased, they are the most uh, <laughs> precious ingredient yeah, yeah. of today's very, very slow, slow cooking, which is slow not due cooking. to the beautiful piece of equipment that uh, Pretty Kupchi has brought, but more to the <laughs> historical um, artifact that we found in the basement that actually compli is compliant to this uh, pot. So it's a yeah. combination of uh, two very particular... Yeah. instruments that are trying to dance trying to yeah so we see what we see what goes what's we going see on there what goes on so what do you have there so this is a chana dal which is what we this is yellow lentils right yellow lentils yeah in the chana dal and now this can be used uh, in uh, savory it can be used as dals you know temper it with uh, onions garlic this is a normal ingredient for, for, usual, for the usual dal, right? Usual dal. Yeah. Yeah, there's a other called tur dal. That tur dal, there's another called tur dal that is also regularly used. So now what I have done, I've soaked it overnight in water. The next day I drained the water and I pressure cooked it because, you know, I thought I would, uh, we won't have much time. So maybe. I think we have a lot of time. Yeah. So I pressure cooked it and I got it uh, ready. And mashed it, so this is the cons consistency. So what, what, what is it? The water and uh, and the that's the, the, the pulse, the angel. That's right? it. That's it. I no mean. salt, no sugar. No, 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 nothing, nothing. Can I try it just a little bit? Yeah. Mm, yeah, very clean, yeah. but with a nice, uh, nice. Yeah. Uh, basic flavor and if you if you notice it's not fully fully cooked because you know we'll be again cooking it uh adding some other ingredients so i thought today you know, yeah hopefully yeah. on the other side <laughs> <laughs> or should we take a, 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 another pot that kind of fits yeah the, maybe the... maybe uh this one will it fit i got this Maybe yeah, but you want a flat one, that's okay, like a pan, is that okay? Or you want more like a like a casserole? Yeah, that is also fine for me, whichever it fits so so till, yeah. It's a little bit hot. I, I'll, work, I'll work it out. Just um, explain the poetry of, um, of, um, of the dessert a little bit more. Yeah, so... So as this is what I got and... Now this is a very good, uh, this is from south of India and I'm going to add uh, jaggery to it, okay, and the body would be given by uh, coconut milk, that's the whole cream, uh, full cream coconut milk. There is no ghee, there is no butter, it's a vegan kind of uh, dessert, which, yeah, yeah. and... Cold or, serve cold or hot? Sorry? So serve cold or hot? It's uh, well warm. Warm. But you can have it cold also. Okay. Yeah, it's up to you. But it's a warm uh, dessert. People have it uh, for festivals and uh, from the south of India. But of course, nowadays, you know, everyone is cooking. India is like everybody cooks uh, dosas and idlis, even if you if you don't belong to a region. So now, uh, Indian cooking is not uh, just uh, to that state. You know, we all do cook north, east, south, west. So, yeah. You want to heat it up over there? I think so, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's ready. And now, uh, it is up to you if you want to. Uh, now, see, I've presented you the recipes. Now, it's up to you. You can make it your own. If you want to add uh, butter to it, you can do that. But I, for me, this works well because there's already a cream, a coconut cream. It takes care of everything. So, okay. you don't need that extra... Uh, should we kind. add something to the butt or you want something in there? No, I just need uh, this and some, maybe some water if you can. Yeah, fix. of course. Yeah. We got a few more nice comments for you guys. Well, water uh, first? Yeah, I think I need, no, I think more, higher, higher, here, here. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. First this. So I'm adding it. Yeah. 
So this is very simple, right? Anyone can do this. Anyone. Anyone. You know, I think uh, uh, it's just a myth that Indian cooking is very, very difficult. But if you see, uh, if you take, uh, actually start cooking, it's not that difficult if you get your ingredients. Like, for example, uh, the legumes. Beans like this need to be soaked or, you know, the kidney beans or the chickpea beans. But other uh, pulses and lentils, you can just soak it for 20 minutes and they are done. The soaking is important because it uh, sort of fastens the process of uh, uh, fasten the process of cooking. So, just a bit. Yeah. Now I, I didn't add anything in here. I'm going to so add. Right now, it's still only water and yellow yeah, lentils, yeah, right? Yeah. So I would need uh, a half a cup of. Uh, this so need a knife for this a knife okay a knife. <laughs> <laughs> I find a knife I can do that can I do anything else yeah, can you help me cut it yeah yeah how, how much do you, you. <laughs> how much do you want how much do you want uh, yeah just, just half a just, cup th half a cup okay yes. thin slices like that no no it doesn't matter it's going to melt in here oh okay so it's 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 not uh, just I'm not using, so I, yeah, this seems good, right? Half yeah, the, a cup, a little bit more? I think we'll add this and see. Okay. Yeah, we'll. So I'm adding uh, I've not added the whole tin. I'm just going to see what is the consistency going to be. While you're doing that, could you tell me, I mean, I'm, I th I'm, I'm sure that some things have there are at least two questions that uh, they are puzzled about. So one is, what about Corona and India? How, how, how are you coping with uh, the coronavirus in your country, in your uh, home country, I should say? Well, things are getting better now. I think what has happened is that uh, the cases are uh, decreasing. The deaths, uh, deaths are decreasing. I think more of a herd immunity has kicked in. Really? I think so because a lot of people have already the antibodies, so being tested. That is. But many people have died also, I suppose, right? Men, yeah. Like in so many other countries. Yeah, but it. If you see now, it is so much. Uh, it's much better. But I heard that the ch small children are kept away from school while restaurants are open. So you kind of do the opposite as we do in Denmark right now, right? <laughs> I think, yeah, restaurants are opening. K kids, uh, I think they're still online. But, uh, yeah. But I'm sure that things will get much better with these uh, new vaccinations. Okay, so if you want to have a look how the consistency is. With the coconut. With the coconut. Yeah. So now this is this is a good consistency. Once I add jaggery to it, it will harden, you know, thicken a bit. Uh, so I'm going to add. Oh. I like the sound. I like the sound. <laughs> so do I. I. I was afraid a little bit that we were <laughs> have to hang around here until midnight to get that, boy, that guy cooking. But uh, it's improving. This is sound. You know this. This is okay. The sound. You know that sound. Yes, I know. It's. I'm very happy. That's music to my ears. Wow. <laughs> I actually like that, that you don't have to look. I mean, I would be standing around to make sure that nothing would burn. So if this really is not burning underneath, do you think it's not burning down there now? No. Uh, that, 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 that I can actually see is uh, it's pretty smart. If it was burning, that he, he would tell. Okay. He's very. Uh, He's smart. Very expressive, you know. <laughs> Indian intelligence. <laughs> so if you see, the color has also changed now, uh, with uh, jaggery. Now what I'm going to do is, I will taste it a bit, to just. Uh, that's. <laughs> that's one. No, that's that's half. That's half one. <laughs> Is one. <laughs> oh, this is good. 
Uh, the jaggery is not... Uh, it cannot explode or anything? No risk for explosion? No, no. He's very reliable. That's what he's been there with me for a long time. Very expressive, very reliable, very supportive. Why, so, do, why, why do you call it a he and not a she? Uh, well, I have other cooker that's she. So he is the he. He's the he. The why? Small. Why? Why? Because she's bigger and he's smaller. I don't know. The, she's, the big one is a she and the small <laughs> one is a he. That's how you see your husband. <laughs> no. <laughs> it just... Not always. <laughs> so I'm adding a, a little bit of saffron right now, as you see, pinch of saffron right now. So maybe is, is a woman in India the big mama, uh, mama the mother earth, mama pacha as I say in... in oh. That's one? That's one. <laughs> Loud and clear. <laughs> so what, the, what is the status of the woman in India? I mean, how is her, her, the role of the woman in... In, in the bigger scheme of things? Yeah, I think Indian are uh, empowered. We, we see Indian women uh, everywhere in all sectors. Uh, and you see in private sector, we have very, uh, the CEOs, chefs, you know, you name it. In, women are everywhere. Whatever mm -hmm. job you will find women. If you, if you travel India and if you go, even the local markets or you go to, uh, you go anywhere, you find women working everywhere. So is the women like the, like the president of the house? Of uh, the household? Of the, of the family? Yeah. Or is she more like a servant to the husband? I think, uh, yeah, women are uh, quite very powerful. Very powerful. And, and respected by the husband? Yes, very much. I think, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so curious. How is it here? Uh, we here we are very suppressed by the women. The women yeah. are very much on the top of the men. <laughs> so we can uh, we can make very few moves. <laughs> Otherwise, we are into trouble. Okay. Very little we can say. Very little we can do. But that's when you're married. Even when we are not married, <laughs> it's very very limited <laughs> space. But I think men men need to uh, rise uh, to the occasion. <laughs> and I think we will see a comeback of the men in the coming twenty years. <laughs> yeah, that we'll see. So you know, I'm just going to. So we, we are, it's one still, right? Only one, no? That's one. One whistle. I'm just going to... Uh, two. So what, what if children are around this, this uh, man, this, this he, will they not be burned? No. By the steam? But it's high up, right? I oh, mean, we need to be high. Yeah, it, 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 and the, where they're low, you know... Probably if, if, if a 10-year-old would just run and look, it's very interesting, then you would be... Well, if you're growing up in India, yeah, they would know then... that's a pressure cooker. Okay. You know, it's, it is a regular thing found in regular households. So yeah. It's not some, uh, something... So once, once you're burned, you know that you shouldn't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I would add a little more... Uh, exactly. So that's three, right? I have some uh, cardamom. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Some that's milk. really. That's what I would call comfort food. Comfort, yes. Super, super comfortable. That's bang on. That's what it is. Comfort food. Mm. Now cardamom is according to your taste, so I'm just adding. And now I have some, uh, I wanted to roast it. So yeah. Can we use I, it? I can roast it, yeah? Yeah. What did you put the pan from before? Oh, there, yeah. yeah. I'm going to break cashews into like two halves. <laughs> so we'll just dry roast it. You can roast it in uh, butter if you want, but I think it's good enough. You lower the heat, yeah. Yeah. Yes, lower than that also. They are for the for the dessert, right? 
Yeah, just to garnish it. Yeah. You know, it gives a nice nutty uh, taste to the. So, what are you doing in in Denmark when you're not eating and cooking? You and your husband. What is what is the job actually? Are you also working, kind of, or? Uh, well, I I may not work like that, you know, because I'm not working. No. But I, uh, I keep quite busy being, uh, you know, as an ambassador spouse. You you do have a lot of things going on, a lot of entertaining, and. Uh, Are you preparing menus also with? Uh... Yeah, I I I prepare menus and I keep a precise list of menus that I've made and list of people who have come and had the menus. So if you come next time, I'll prepare something different. So how many times do you have dinners in the house? Uh, with the corona time, without, I think we were having twice. We were had lunches, dinners, three times maybe. There was times when we had back-to-back -back dinners and lunches. So it all... And are the diplomatic relations between India and Denmark getting better? Yes, they are. They are. They have, uh, you know, they have gone to another level now. As you know, you there, was a, there was somebody, a, some a person who kind of threw some weapons down, and it was not very nice many years ago, right? Well, that's far behind now. Yeah. I think we should, uh, you know, look ahead. What that's is good. there in front of us? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want so to? That, that is the position. Yeah. Yeah. Can we just? Uh, I can do that. Yeah. I was hoping you would say that. You can, you can, uh, yeah. I've been pushed around by so many women here in Denmark, so you can just be another one pushing me around, so uh, I'm used to it. <laughs> but now you're telling me when we are end of our, <laughs> and you, I think... You want it to be light brown? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. And this is good. Uh, do you want to see the consistency, how it is now, because... Uh, so it's more like, it's more a soup than a porridge, right? Yeah. So it depends, you know, if you want it thick, you know, it will also thicken after it uh, comes to the room temperature, the dal. Yeah. So we are waiting for... Is that four? Yeah, because I'm not very sure of what we have here. So maybe I'll just... So am I not? not yeah, I'm so not I don't know. Yeah. They're whistling. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to check out how it looks down there? No, no. Then I have to start the process again. Okay. So, yeah. I think that's uh, good enough. Yeah, we can just... Yeah. We can shut it now. Yeah. Oh, well. This one. Okay. Yeah. You want me to take them off the heat? You just put it inside. Oh, in there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, again, this you can dress it as you want. You know, you want to add uh, less coconut milk, you can do that. You know, you can add uh, more nuts, other nuts, uh, instead of jaggery. Jaggery is found in, uh, I think the link would be given below, right? Where you can get jaggery. But instead of jaggery, uh, brown sugar or cane sugar will also give equally great results. That everybody can find yeah, in the household. Yeah. And this you eat in the morning or in the in the dinner? No, dinner? this is uh, this is only for special occasions. It's a dessert uh, for festivals. Oh, but people also make it just like that. And you you serve it as you said, uh, ambient temperature, not cold, not not hot, very hot, right? Ambient mm -hmm. or hot? I think a little bit warmer side, yeah. especially when the weather is like this. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we maybe leave it for now, and then we finish the yes, other one, right? Yes, we finish that. So very good. Anything else I can do? No, I think we are. We just wait for. We spare about if there will be something else that I have brought for. At få vide, der andre ting i nyskab omkring. Der var five. The one more, because I'm not sure about this. Okay, go six. The the vessel, you know the. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, in India, we have, uh, as I was saying, 50 to 60 percent of Indians are vegetarians, and pulses, uh, legumes are consumed every day. Uh, 
other than this there are different kinds of uh, pulses that we regularly use the names i am going to use indian names if that's okay of course so do you know do you also know the english names uh, turdal is it's called turdal only or uh, then uh, turdal then there is a uh, moong dal yellow one then there is a uh, red masoor dal then there is a uh, chana dal yes because a lot of people that are very fond of your five whistle pressure cups <laughs> and some of them ask where you can get one in Denmark or if you can't. Okay. So I think the link is would be given uh, We we'll put the link on the web page. Yeah, web page, yeah. But of course you will not find some like him. He's he's old. But I'm sure you will find something like this. <clears throat> Also in India you have uh, these shiny ones and do they whistle like this one? Of course. Whistle will never change. So all of them whistle do the whistling. Yes. <laughs> so actually never never in my entire life have I cooked with a pressure cooker. Never mm. ever. Really? Uh, it's 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 a very valuable uh instrument that uh, Indian household has. Everybody has a pressure cooker. And lot of them all have of different sizes also. In the interest of preserving flavor and uh, and also um, saving time. Saving time. And right. also having control because I yeah. would, as I said, I would be very focused on what's going on down there unless this lid was doing yeah. this work for me. Yeah. So like, like you know, if I was very busy, I would have, uh, you know, I would have three containers. One would be of dal. One would be of uh, maybe some uh, like vegetables that needs to be steamed. And one would be of rice. So all together in that same time, you would in different yeah. contain in different yeah um, yeah and yeah. you get it in stacks like that. And you have cooker. I also have one, uh, three stacks where you can do things together. So it saves time and it's express. And you know, then you can do other things. You know, it's cooking. Yeah. You don't have to keep run uh, running down to check whether it's done or not. I think it's a, it's a brilliant idea. I will. So, I will need to find one myself. Yeah. But this very particular one that you are so fond of, that you cannot find. Well, the same model you may not find, yeah. but you may find the brand, uh, you know. You is, it, is it an Indian brand? Yeah, it's an Indian brand. That was six, no? Yeah, that's six. So. So we, put, we will put the brand on the webpage, so maybe you're lucky and you, maybe you can find it and with all the modern transport stuff. Yeah, yeah, Amazon oh, modern one would be, yeah, of course you would find. It's, it's called Prestige. Do you have Amazon in India or something like Amazon? Yeah, yeah, we have Amazon in India, not yeah. something like, <laughs> yeah. Maybe something yeah. smarter. We have Amazon and you know everything, you get everything, so I'm sure if you just go to the link uh, later, yeah. you would find. Super. So what I think we have already finished six and more than six, so maybe I'll just turn yeah. it, turn it off and wait for the pressure. Okay, now it has been turned off. I'm going to wait for the pressure to fall by itself. I'm not going to sort of struggle and open it. Is it uh, so? You leave it on the hot. Uh, no, I would put it there maybe here or maybe even maybe here. Maybe. I think. So how long time do you need to wait before you can uh, open the open the pot? So if I'll do like this. Okay. When it's it's the pressure is uh, you know on its own it will just go down. Can it? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. So maybe we can uh, we can put this. Uh, yeah. Bigger. I just uh, a find bigger this over bowl. There. I'll find yeah. one a big ladle. Yeah. If you're going to give it to people, yeah, yeah. Just. I think we're just gonna clean up this a little bit. Yeah. Maybe I'm gonna can, can take this one and then we can we can do a more beautiful one in the next one. So be more careful. Yeah. I can try to be more careful. So that's saffron, right? Yes, saffron. And I'm just adding. I I'll just take. Thank you so much. This is my job. Yes. I can do that. So beautiful. Hmm. 
Thank you. We move it there. No. Yeah. Very curious about this one. And you still need to add coconut milk, or did you do that already? No, I have to add salt also. Yeah. And then I have to see the seasoning. I may add a little bit of coriander. I like coriander, then... Salt. And why don't you add salt from the very beginning? Uh, well, it, uh, it doesn't, you know, it will not fasten. It will not cook very well. So, okay. f so for, yeah. Hopefully, if you want to try it, do you want to try it? Nana, you want to try, Nana? Yeah, yeah, try come, it. please. Maybe you guys should try it too. No, yeah. no, yeah, I can try with you, Nana. Yeah, come on. Please. Nana is uh, normally the head of uh, production and even the, the lady behind the camera. Be careful, it's, it's, it's quite it's hot. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's sweet, huh? Yeah, I didn't really imagine it to be sweet mm -hmm. because when you see it, you don't really. It's it looks like something curry-ish. Mm. Really nice flavor to it. Because mm. you know the jaggery is a different. If you if you it gives a different kind of uh, mm. flavor and aroma. Mm. Very very fruity. Very fruity. Yeah. Also mm. good with the nuts in it to give it some. Mm. Yes in yes it, right? yes. Good. It feels somehow feels healthy in a way in c compared to eating a Danish uh, you know puff pastry or cream cake yeah. or something. It yeah. feels like you yeah, are. And it's vegan. It's it's. You know, it just, and yeah, and you, you can get everything. Vegan, and you are indulging, and it feels like yeah. you are building up your body. Yes. I feel my muscles are growing. I'm getting stronger <laughs> for every bite. And it's very healthy. You can have a bowl of this and, uh, mm. you know, keep having it. You have to <laughs> stop yourself. Mm. I, I have to wait. Why do you know you have to wait? How do you know? Because this will fall down. This, which one? This one? The, the lid. Really? Yes. You watch, it's magic. Really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's only this Indian model or also the modern, mo the modern ones also have the lid falling down? Uh, well, I think so. Maybe. Uh, but you know, I, I'm so, I've not seen the new ones because I'm... So you, your bigger one, the she that the, you have at home? The same that? one, same one, with, but bigger one. Okay. So, you know. That's for the rice? No, rice, that's for... Uh, uh, rice I don't cook in... I like to cook it in the open, like when I like when biryani, which I made, it yeah. was all together and slow cooked over a few hours. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. So. We got a few more comments if you guys like to hear them. Um, yeah, go that, ahead. That pressure cooker looks like the best friend you've had for <laughs> years and years. <laughs> and also another one about the pressure cooker. That's him whistling. The lady whistles differently. <laughs> <laughs> and also a question about the yellow lenses. Um, Kimi, haven't really seen them before. And oh, she's... Oh, oh. Wow. That was it. Yeah. yeah, but I would need... Uh, Take this one. This one is the... No, I would need... Uh, I would need... Uh, that again. The heater? Again. Yeah. <laughs> that. I, will, I will provide you with that again. <laughs> So we, here you go. <laughs> so this is this is not a he or she. This is just an it. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's cooked now. I'm just going to. Can I have some coconut milk, please? Uh, yeah. I'm just adding a coconut cream to give it. This one was a savory one. Now you can adjust uh, how it is. I think I'll add a little bit of salt. Can I do something for you, pretty? Uh, yes, I would like uh, maybe some coriander if you can yeah. add for me. See, salt depends upon your personal preference. You make sure that you don't add a lot of salt because you know it's better to start with less. Actually, it's funny that I can when I that I call you your first name, pretty, 
because your second name is, is uh, Gupti, right? Yeah. Because in Denmark, if you call a woman pretty, yeah. it's an insult. <laughs> you actually risk a lawsuit. <laughs> so what do I, I add? Yeah, can you just add it here? I'm just gonna. Can I have a. Oh, is it? It's really nice, but I need a little bit uh, salt. more of this you can add water also but you know it just uh, so what flavor are you looking at it seems as if you have a very clear idea of what you're searching for down there like you have in your in your mind in your memory yeah a kind of a image you want to so you know reach. this is uh, as i said this is a comfort food for me and this is also comfort food it takes me back to my uh, my my mother's cooking and it's it's very it's very earthy it's very simple and it's very basic, but it just, you just instantly feel well-being when you have it, a spoonful of, you want to try it? Of Let's course. Would, would this be like a, like a starter or like a... No, this can be... Uh, in between meals or... No, it is a mains. It's a main, okay. Yeah. So. And you don't, you don't take it with rice, you just take it as is, You can right? take it with rice, you can have it with roti, you can take it as, you know, eat it. Just... I love the color. I mean, the green and the yellow together, it's so beautiful. Yeah, and of course, you, you, you always add uh, coriander yes. in the very end. You add coriander in the or very end. Or at least part of it, right? Part of it, yeah. So. Mm. My goodness. This yeah. is very, very, very good. I would it's very simple. The texture, the way that it's not, it's smooth and yet there is texture. Yeah. The, 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 um, the chili bite and then all the beautiful spicy flavor surrounding it yeah mm. it's wet and yet it's firm mm. but particularly I, I really love the texture of the sprouted uh, lentils because sometimes when you cook a, a typical dali it all becomes a little bit um, yeah yeah muddy or muddy or it becomes very mushy mushy, mushy. mushy yeah. Yeah. And this is yeah. very very yeah. particular in the texture yeah so that's that's really a treat and ah. also when you, you know, have these sprouts germinating, wow. it uh, breaks down the starch and, you know, the nutrients in the, uh, wow. increases a lot. So it is a great powerhouse of protein, low in uh, fat and great energy, uh, you know, a bowl of this uh, anytime, anytime. This is mains, you can have it with rice, have it as a soup or just without or add you know you can cut onions and tomatoes on top of it garnish it with something as you want you don't want anything yeah <laughs> so maybe maybe i can put set it somewhere can i have something that i can set it you, you can you want to you, you want to serve or just no, leave i'll just it. serve it here yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. you're hungry <laughs> itch And what would happen if you made the very same dish with, um, with, with lentils that you had soaked but not uh, sprouted? What could you do? The same dish with lentils that were soaked in water? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you and, can and do it, but then it, it takes the dish to another level once you do it. Like this particular one which I showed, it's sprout umpty. And it becomes, what is the, the, the difference between the, the same dish made this way? And then a similar dish made with uh, non-sprouted lentils. Well, it, well, the flavor will change, the texture will change, and the also, texture, right? yeah, the texture would not be like this. I mean, and also the, it breaks down the yeah. starch, and you know, okay. more nutrients are there. So a little more bit healthy when they're more sprouted. More healthy when they're sprouted, and it's express, easy, and. Uh, yeah, if you want to. Hold on, I think this is the beautiful, this is the picture. And then 
I will just tell you that, that in, in here with the team in Myers Madhouse, we yeah. actually also made a book on oh. green proteins. And, okay. and this is a gift for you and your husband. And maybe okay. there's Thank one or two much. dishes that you can benefit from. Thank you. It's not in English. Somebody will have to help you. Maybe we can help you. Thank you. But uh, thanks a lot for, for joining thank our you so humble much. house. Thank you so much. And uh, thanks for you for hanging in. Thank you, everyone. And on behalf of the Indian Embassy, thank you, Klaus and his team. I, um, it's wonderful to be here and uh, delighted to share my recipes, which come from my heart and which, give, which has given me well-being uh, to you all. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoy them and you can change anything you want, add something or delete something, you know, so make them your own. As Thank, I you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.